Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. In this video, we are going to talk about two important things, sync versus async behavior. Okay, today I'll just give you a basic theory and then on the basis of this concept, we will see the upcoming chapters, promises, which are very, very important, slightly complex in JavaScript. And on the basis of that, we will see await and async concept also, right? So what do you mean by sync and async behavior? See, sync programming in JavaScript means that JavaScript will execute the code in a linear or the sequential manner. Each line of code is executed one after the other, and the program waits for each operation to complete before moving on the next line. What does it mean? It means, let's see, I have written first line of code, second line of code, third line of code, and fourth line of code. So it will always execute, okay, first line is done, then only I will go to the next line. Second is done, then only I will go to the third line. And the fourth is done, then only I'll go to the fourth line and then finally end of the code. So this is called a synchronous behavior. What does it mean? Is it having any issue? Of course, it is having one issue. You think about it. For example, let's see the task number one says that you have to fetch 100 users from the API or using some API. You have to fetch the data from the database, for example. And this is taking around 20 seconds. So don't you think I'm using as a user, I'm using my application and this task is uh, running in the background. And once this task is completed, then only it will go to the task number two. And task number two is says, okay, fine, that you have to display the user profile. And this user profile is getting displayed in 10 seconds. So once the 10 seconds are done, then only it will go to the task number three, task number four and so on like that. So this is called a synchronous behavior that your thread in JavaScript is actually going to wait until the specific task is completed. Then only it will move to the next task. So this is also called a blocking behavior for the user. I could say that, right? A blocking behavior for the user. Why? Because the long running operations, let's see tomorrow, it can take hundred seconds also and user is totally blocked. It will not proceed further until this particular task is completed. So it is actually blocking the user experience and the, and the user interface to become unresponsive also sometimes until those operations finish. For example, let's say I'll give you a very basic example of, uh, uh, I would say a synchronous programming, a simple, let's say I'm printing console.log here and uh, I'll start my program like this. So let's say I'm writing a start here, right? And then let's say I'm writing one for and I'm creating, let's see, one variable, let i is equal to zero and i less than three and i plus plus. Perfect. And then I'm writing console.log print the value of i here. And then finally, I'm writing that find console.log and the program is done. End here like that. So when you run this program, you can say it's a simple, basic program, synchronous behavior it will follow, start it and then end the for loop, print zero to up to three, less than three, and then finally end it, right? So when you run this program, so let's say I'm running it, node sync.js, you can say starting zero, one, two, and end of the program. So end is getting printed until this particular for loop is completed, right? So this is what tomorrow I can write, let's see, three million records. Let's see a huge number that I'm writing it here. And then in that case, once these three million records are done, or the loop is executed 3 million times, then only the end will be printed on the console, right? You can just simply check that I'm not printing such a huge number, but let's see 30,000 times I'm running it and zero to 29,999. Once it is done, then only end will be printed here. You can see then only end is getting printed here, right? So this is a synchronous behavior, which is actually line by line execution. Then what do you mean by asynchronous behavior? So let's talk about the async behavior. Async behavior means that JavaScript will run the, all the tasks or whatever the number of lines that you have written, and it will continue running those tasks in the background. So let's see, for example, I have task number one, task number two, task number three, and let's see four tasks I'm having it. And here, let's see, again, I'm fetching this particular user. Same example, we can take it here. And let's see, there are hundred users are coming from API using some API and from the database again, which is taking around 20 seconds. So what exactly JavaScript will do? JavaScript will start running it. And then it is not going to wait till 20 seconds. It will go to the next line. And then next line is here. I'm writing 
that for example display the user profile the same example which is taking around 10 seconds so it will start fetching all the specific user profile information and running in the background and then again the third task is uh, that that okay here i'm writing that okay fetch the order information also let's see order information is taking around five seconds so it will try to take the order for that and then finally i'm saying okay now finally you do a a log out or let's see some do some other operation do something 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 else over here not log out exactly otherwise it will log out so this is asynchronous behavior and it says okay fine we have started this process we are going to the next process we started this also third process also and the fourth process also and once the specific task is done 20 seconds let's see this is done after this is done and then we simple call the callback function over here so that's what the callback functions also coming into the picture a promise is coming into the picture that we promise that after 20 seconds we will notify you right so we will see in the next chapter that we are going to use some promises a concept here and then we will see that how exactly promises are handling this asynchronous behavior and once the 20 seconds are done perform something call the specific callback function and then once the 10 seconds are done perform something like call the specific let's say display user profile or uh, return some user profiles from this particular function like that right so this is how the asynchronous is uh, running which is not blocking the user and it's just not like okay once it is taking tomorrow let's say 30 seconds or 40 seconds then in that case it's not like user cannot perform or cannot use other parts of the application you say user can easily do that move to the next one third one fourth one and then here and there in the background all other tasks which are running in the background and once a specific task is done it will be displayed on the page properly that's why the javascript is so so dynamic in behavior and that's why they support highly asynchronous task in a very systematic way in the form of callback functions promises and then now the new version of javascript also support async and await concept here as well so that's where the asynchronous programming is very very important here right so this is about the asynchronous programming let me give you one example also here for the asynchronous uh, programming if you see this here so for example let's see if i'm writing that uh, once again let's say i'm writing console.log start and then we have already seen that set timeout is actually the implementation of the asynchronous behavior and i'm writing that okay fine let's create one callback uh, function without any parameter and uh, here i'm just giving some uh, time here so let's say i'm giving after 2000 milliseconds you have to do the timeout so this is the maximum timeout that we have given and then here i'm writing let's see console dot log and uh, here I'm writing the uh, timeout is, is done. Okay. And I'm just printing it on the console. And then finally, I'm printing console.log end here. Perfect. So this is what, this is what asynchronous behavior. It will start the task. Let me just comment it out uh, this one. Let me just comment it out. And then you observe the behavior when I run this program. Let me just clear the console and uh, see this. Can you see start and end already printed? This is a asynchronous behavior. We started with the start, fine. And then it's printing end. Why? Because it's taking two seconds of time. Okay, fine. You take your time. You take your own time. And then by the time it is actually reaching it over here on console.log end, its end is getting printed. And once this particular task is done, after two seconds, it's printing that, okay, fine. It will call this callback function and it will print console.log timeout is done so let's see if i'm increasing the timeout around 10 seconds over here so let's see what happens see this carefully start end and it's waiting waiting up to 10 seconds and once the 10 seconds are done then again it will go to the callback function where we are not passing anything and sprinting timeout is done here you can say it here after 10 seconds tomorrow you really want to pass something else some other parameters also you can check it that example we will see with the promises here so i hope this is clear this is not a sequential execution it depends on the asynchronous behavior if asynchronous behavior is found then it is going to wait for that it's not going to wait for that it will jump to the next line and then keep printing it on the console or whatever the logic that you have written see i'm printing it n number of times and then you run it see end 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 getting printed but it's actually waiting for 10 seconds to call this particular function so that it will print timeout is done on the console once the 10 seconds are over Okay, so this is just a basic overview that what do you mean by sync and async behavior in JavaScript and why is it important to know and to implement that. 
that's all for this video i'll show you promises and the sync and async behavior more practically in the next session till then take care and god bless you all